Hey Reefers, welcome back. Today we're going to have a look at my coral bank here. They've got quite a bit of an outbreak at the moment of bryopsis and it's sort of taking over the whole aquarium. So I'm going to try, I've never done it before, um, the flu, flu conazole, flu canazole can never pronounce it properly. I think it's flucanazole. Um, unfortunately here in SA, I don't know about other parts of the world, it's a prescription drug and you need to get your, your doctor to prescribe it. Um, I was doing some research on the Reef to Reef and there was an article there that a uh, guy had uh, written on treating biops bryopsis with, with fluconazole and it was successful. So we're going to go according to his um, uh, dosages that he did, which was a five mils per liter of water. The system here in total is 500 liters. So we're going to use 2,500 milligrams. And we're going to try and take you through the steps day by day on how it works. And we're going to follow his steps. So in the description, I'm going to leave a link to the article on Reef to Reef. And that's the exact same procedure we are following. So things to look at when using that, sorry, uh, my door's open and I can see the road and a car drove past and distracted me. So what we're going to follow is the same procedure that they did. And basically what you need to do is turn off all UV lights, including atinic T5s if you are running them, the UV channel on your, on your um, LEDs, um, UV sterilizer, uh, any carbon or anything that absorbs medication, carbon, uh, zeomix, zeolite, anything like that. And your protein skimmer, you don't need to turn it off, but just remove the cup. So it's still oxygenating the water and you're not losing um, any oxygen levels in your water or anything like that. So, And if far, as far as I can remember, the, the method is going to be one dose and it's going to take around about eight days for the um, bryopsis to to disappear and we're going to take you day day by day and show you the the progress of the the fluconazole fluconazole and yeah so the next bit of clip you're going to see is us adding it into the system and then we're going to show you day one day two day three day four day five and so forth guys let's see what let's see how it works i'm going to just do the mixing up of it okay so what my doctor gave me was five containers or five single capsules of 150 milligram and 10 single capsules of 200 milligrams so that gives me one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so that gives me the total of 2750 milligrams so I said my tank is 500 milligrams and going by the dosing of five mils milligrams per one five milligrams per one liter of water will give me 2500 milligrams i'm going to do the full amount that she's given me and that'll put me at 5.5 milligrams per liter of water so what i'm going to do is break each of the capsules up I mean, like if you're treat, if you're using this to treat fish disease, you would do nine milligrams per liter of water per day. So this is way under that dosage. So, like I said, I'm going to go 5.5 milligrams per liter of water, and it's a single dosage. Yeah, so it's a single dosage once off and i think we run it for about eight days and see how the algae goes i've i've already turned off my uvs on my on my led lights i'm not running a tinix so i don't need to turn the tinix off i'm not running a uv sterilizer so i don't need to turn that off and um i've taken the cap off of my off of my protein skimmer my cup sorry so protein skimmer is just overflowing and I've removed carbon from the system. Um, 
why we want to turn off UV lights and UV sterilizers, they do break down medication. So the UV breaks down medication in the water and then makes it less effective or not effective at all. And also the reason we remove carbon, as you all know, carbon removes, removes toxins, medications out the water. So it would be such a waste of money to accidentally leave your, your carbon in the system. I really do hope this works as well as it did for the guy on the, I mean, can you believe this, this whole box, that whole one box is for one capsule. So I hope, like I said, it works as well as it did for the guy who used it on reef to reef. I've been manually removing it and it just comes back as quickly as I removed it. So other than stripping the entire aquarium and putting all the corals into quarantine and hoping it doesn't come back after doing all that, the results I did see on his, um, with his photographs over eight days was, was incredible. So let's hope we get the same results and we can show it to you guys day by day. So obviously this video, we're just going to mix it up, add it into the system, and then tomorrow we'll see if there's any, any difference and show you a, basically a little bit of footage each day. There we go, that's what 2,750 milligrams of fluconazole looks like. Let me just grab some RO water to dissolve it. Mix some RO water into it. Dissolve that nicely. Okay, let's take this and add it to the tank. Okay, so this is the tank in question. Have a basic quick overview of my lovely, my lovely farm, my Bryopsis farm. Yeah, glass is a little bit dirty as well. I should have cleaned the glass. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add it to the display into the wave maker. So there's the wave maker there. So the wave maker can give it a good mix in. Stir it up as well. Okay, so we're gonna come back tomorrow and see what it's like. I'll just give you an overview. Skimmer's cap, cap is off, so it's still aerating the water, but not gonna skim any of the medication out. So let's see what it looks like tomorrow.
so this is day eight i've done a video every 24 hours since adding fluconazole and we have not manually removed any of it i will continue to run the fluconazole in the system for a further four days or maybe a little bit more we'll see how it goes but that's pretty much the results of the fluconazole so this was point uh, sorry 5.5 milligrams to one liter of aquarium water one dose with um, skimmer cup removed or uv including uv channels on led lights turned off and all carbon or any medication absorbing um, media media uh, filtration removed and that's amazing i mean you guys saw day one this was a bryopsis farm but we did add some corals in two days ago and i do have a little bit of cyano popping up but cyano i can live with or or cyano let me put it this way cyano i can deal with i'm very happy with the results on that so that was treating bryopsis algae with um, fluconazole. Um, like I said, it was the point, uh, 5.5 milligrams to one liter of tank water. I think we used a total of 2,750 milligrams. Um, like I said, we turned off everything that needed to be turned off. And, that was, and that's the results after eight days. Like I said, we'll continue. We won't remove it out the aquarium just yet. We'll leave it in the system for another four to five days. Make sure that every last bit of it is gone and eradicated. And yeah, so, and, and we'll keep you up to date if anything does pop up or, you know, if there's nothing to, nothing to um, report on, then obviously we won't report on it, then you know everything's good. But yeah, we will do an update maybe in two weeks time to see if it stayed away. But I'm very happy with the, uh, the, the performance of the fluconazole. And yeah, it's a great way to get a bryopsis. And I will definitely leave the link to the article in Reef to Reef where the, the steps that we followed. Thanks again for watching. Till our next video, happy reefing.